What time it is? What time is that? It's time for a chewy chat. What time it is? What time is that? It's time for a chewy chat where I chat and I chew and discuss the word too. Y'all be sure to comment down below and let me know what it is you guys are chewing on. Hopefully y'all can see I got a little spaghetti here. I got some, uh, well, a half a sausage and a bagel with some butter on it. It has been a while. It has truly been a while. But the Lord has called me to call you guys into a little Bible study. Well, let me say my prayers. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for another opportunity to just spread your word with those who are listening. Father, we ask that you help us as we go throughout our day. Father, that you are constantly on our mind. You help us make our decisions Father, that we can just make the right decision more times than the wrong. And Father, I thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. I ask that it help with the nourishment for my body. And Father, not only are we to feed our bellies, but we also have to feed our soul. So we feed our soul with the word from you on this day. In Jesus' name, amen. So how you guys been doing? Have you guys been watching any replays or old Chewy Chats of mine? Is there a favorite Chewy Chat of mine? What do you think about my Chewy Chats? All of that. I need some comments. Mm-mm. Let's see what the word is for today. Witness. Wow. Mm. Witness, witness. As I hear this word, I just think about us witnessing to each other, going forth and making disciples. And then as the days grow older and older, you guys, it's very hard to witness to those who don't believe, have no faith and understanding of the word or of God. Or anything near it. And those who do know it has become very difficult for them to hang on to what they know. It has been very easy for them to go astray and become witness to some other foolishness. There's so much out there, right? Voodoo, witchcraft, spiritualism, and accessory, reading and talking and doing and African roots and tributes. and I don't care what it is. Knows your knowledge that there is a creator God and that his son died for our sins, whether it be a physical body like ours or what. You could come up with however you want to say it, but <clears throat> long as you acknowledge it as a creator and his son. But let's get into some of this word. Because although I'm hungry, I got to do what the Lord told me to, you know? So let's start our reading with um, Proverbs 14.25. Proverbs 14.25. Fourteen and twenty-five, and it reads, "A true witness is delivering souls, but a deceitful one launches forth with lies." As I mentioned earlier, just lies, 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 all lies, right? Their own doctrine, their own teachings, their own scriptures, their own books. I can't say it's true. I can't say it's false. All I know is. This is the example of right here. I know it's some lost books to it. But you got to develop your own relationship with God and talk with him. And 
I mean, all of it is not even necessary. Just, just have that relationship and figure out what is necessary and go forth and tell others about him, you know? I mean, love your neighbors as yourself. That's the main gist of it all. Let's go with John 8 and 17. All right, 8 and 17. Also in your own law, it is written, the witness of two men is true. The witness of two men is true. And I'm continuing with 18. I am one that bears witness about myself and the father who sent me bears witness about me. And 19, therefore they went on to say to him, where is your father, Jesus answered. You know neither me nor my father. If you did know me, you would know my father also. So this is the truth that Jesus is revealing about his rams and his connection with his father and the bearing witness of him with his father. And we're going to go and read some scripture from Revelations. So, Revelations 1 and 5. Revelations 1 and 5. And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him that loves us and that loosed us from our sins by means of his own blood. So this is saying that, you know, Jesus is our an exemplar, our witness of who he is, what he does, who God is, who God does. I meant what God does for us, you know. This great king has come and witnessed to us. And... I am going to end it on Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. Let me taste the sausage. Mm, comment down below if y'all eat these Roger Wood sausages. I know a lot of people who prefer Hillshire Farm or Johnsonville. But I like them. I don't really like them. It's just like ham to me. But again, ham is pork. So hey, it all came from the pig. But this don't taste as much as ham. Anyway, we all have different preferences. Y'all use ground turkey in my spaghetti here. All right, heading on over to that last scripture, Revelations 20 and 4. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Oh, I'm not a good singer. <laughs> 20 and 4. And I saw thrones, and there were those who sat down on them, and power of judging was given them. Yes, I saw the souls of those executed with the axe for the witness they bore to Jesus. And for speaking about God, and those who had worshipped neither the wild beast nor its image, and who had not received the mark upon their forehead and upon their hand, and they came to life and ruled as kings with the Christ for a thousand years. 
So this is talking about after the war. And I know some call it Armageddon. But after the war and the mark of the beast and those who were going to reign with Jesus for a thousand years and those who weren't in the ending about who had bear witness and, you know, what your afterlife is going to be like. So that's what it all bows down to. Are you witnessing the true God? Who are you witnessing? Why are you witnessing them? And what your afterlife will be like for those of you who believe. <laughs> and even for those of you who don't, just think more about it. It makes sense to end your life trying your best to walk with Christ and spread the good news of the gospel just in case it is true, right? Then to disregard it and have an afterlife that you can't bear, don't want any part of, wish you would have done differently. Just do the right thing. And basically, we know what the right thing is. With all that being said, remember, guys, that God loves you, but so do I.